What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video brings a little light to your day. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that bell to become part of the notification squad. I surely appreciate that. Also, after this video, be sure to check out my newest song. It's called 2020. The link will be in the pin comment. I surely appreciate that. Today, we're going to start the journey of listening to Eminem's brand new album, Music To Be Murdered By. So let's go ahead and get started. This is track one, the intro. Let's get <laughs> Hold up, M. You ain't gonna start the album off like this, is you? You out here putting somebody in a body bag before you put this beat into a body bag? Was that Kim? That better not be Kim. <laughs> Let's get to it, man. As much as I hate you, I need you. Talk your toe, Eminem. He said on my last album, they said I sounded real bitter. He said, nah, bro, I sound like a spitter. Y'all so used to hearing this mainstream music, y'all forgot what real hip hop sound like. Eminem, just letting y'all know, I'm bringing the bars back. Now, when I say that, I ain't discrediting the artists who make mainstream music, because I enjoy that music sometimes too. But don't go out here discrediting artists like Eminem who make real hip hop. Let's continue, man. Talk. One time is the illest. Bitch, I'm still as fly as the zipper. Shit, but if it was ever all about thriller, then I would have quit her. Long of the fucking time ago. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Facts. Hold up. Before we go any further, he letting you know, I don't do this for the money. He said if it was all about the Skrilla, I would have quit a long time ago. How could anybody fix their mouth to say Eminem is doing this for the money? This man is damn near a billionaire. He ain't got to work another day in his life. So how the hell is you saying this man out here doing this for the money? Like, really? Really, bro? Man, let's get back to it. Shut the fuck up. I should go say that shit to Tech Nine or the Jigger. Nobody mm. says shit about 2 chains as long as he's been here. Mm. Fact, he just letting you know, ain't nobody said nothing about 2 chains. Forgot who else he mentioned, but I don't think he dissing these artists. He just letting you know, why they coming for me? Is it because I'm one of the biggest artists in the world and I've been winning for way too long? Y'all trying to get me out out of here, huh? Because y'all show ain't said nothing about these artists. Why y'all talking about me? Well, let's continue, man. Talk to him. I'm LL Cool J, bigger and deafer, that's how come. Mm. I sell like four mil when I put out a bad album. What? <laughs> I was said I sell about four million when I put out a bad album. Who you know out here selling four million putting out a bad album? I wait. I'm still waiting. Tell me in the comments right now. Come on, M. Let's get it. I sell like four mil when I put out a bad album. It can happen to Shady. They do the same shit to Brady. More people hate me than love me. This game will make you go crazy. Facts, man. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Tom Brady, but a lot of people dislike him. And the reason they dislike him, because he wins way too much. People can't stand a winner. Now, let me run that back. People can't stand when you win way too much. It's like, sure, they'll support you on your come up. They'll even support you when you first get that deal. Now, when you start winning way too much, that's when they bring rumors about you. They trying to tear you down. I don't like you being out there for way too long. That's why you got to watch the people you keep around you, man. Let's get more mm. people hate me than love me this game on you go crazy because I was played in rotation at every radio station to say but then when I put out revival and I had something to say they said that they hated the awake me facts he letting you know right now at first they was telling me my music I wasn't saying anything I'm just spitting real fast I ain't really talking about nothing but then he gave y'all revival but now he too woke for y'all now y'all want him to go back to just spitting it's like you can't win for losing with these critics man Eminem talking to talk right now run this haters pull me in another got more hooks in me than sweat the fact that people saying that he sound like a baby like he can give out the heat but he can't take the heat come on this is eminem we're talking about this man name been drugged through the mud and he still survived what you mean he can't take the heat man come on it's not a shot at two chains of the jay-z they probably feel the same way get told we'll never be what we were bitch if i was just half as good as i was i'm still twice as good as you Talk your talk. I hate the way we treat our legends in hip hop, man. DMX is the LL Cool J, the Eminem's, the Jay Z. They was killing hip hop back in the day, selling millions of records. Look how they treating DMX right now. Look how they treating LL Cool J right now. It's like nobody respecting these artists no more. Then when they do put out new music, it's like, oh, that don't sound like the old you. You lost it. You need to go and retire. You doing too much. I don't feel like no artist should ever retire as long as you love what you do, love making music. 
it and you love the game, keep on doing it, bro. Why should Eminem ever put down the mic? Why should Jay-Z ever put down the mic? Why should LL Cool J ever put down the mic? Tell me why. I mean, sure, they're not going to sell as many records as they used to back in the day. But I feel like what they make, they put out art. And art will last forever. And their core fan base is still going to listen to their music. When Jay-Z drop an album, I'm listening, bro. I don't care how old he is. Jay-Z could be 100 years old out here in front of the mic, and I'm going to be in my headphones like, oh, shit, did you just hear what he said? <laughs> hey man, but let's continue. Uh, killing everything, play this tune at your eulogy. It's a funeral, prepare to die. This is music for you to be murdered by. Woo! M, bro, you ain't had to come at them like that. Coming for these critics next. This is music to be murdered by. I Eminem mean, just pretty much letting you know I ain't stopping for nobody. I'm gonna be out here rapping till I'm about 100 if I still love it. It ain't nothing now one of y'all can do about it. Cause even at this age, none of y'all are competition to what I'm putting out right now. And from what I'm hearing, it don't sound like Eminem lost his step. But I can't wait to hear the rest of the album, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Put on post notifications. Make sure you hit that bell down below so you can become a part of notification squad you know exactly when my videos drop i'm gonna be doing a full album through the week so stay tuned i appreciate y'all for watching also it should be a video on my face right now that's my newest song it's called 2020 i just gotta click the video on my face right now it takes you to the song let me know what you think if you enjoy the song make sure you smash the subscribe to my music channel it's a separate channel from this i surely appreciate that i use the time to click the video on my face we out salute crown family come on yeah? let's get it